Hello guys, my name is Naman Patel and in this video we are going to discuss about the CNS, the blood supply to the CNS and actually we are going to discuss about the anterior circulation specifically. Anterior circulation of the CNS, right? And it is also known as the carotid circulation of the CNS. As the name suggests, because the internal carotid artery plays a very major role in the anterior circulation. Actually, see, for the condition right here is that the internal carotid artery, which is a branch of common carotid artery, and common carotid artery is actually arising from the aortic arch so it is going and it will go to the carotid canal this is this is the internal carotid artery going to the cranium right and it will go inside the it will actually follow the path of the carotid canal in the temporal bone. If you have studied the osteology, then you will know about it better. Okay. Then it will go and it will follow the path like this. There are two right angle turns in the carotid canal. And when it will leave the carotid canal, this internal carotid artery is actually will be opening in the cavernous sinus, right? Let me just draw it. Right. What is cavernous sinus? It is nothing but a true dural venous sinus. And it is an exception that it is an exception that internal carotid artery is passing from this venous sinus okay now if you can see right from here before coming out from the cavernous sinus this internal carotid artery is actually going to the orbital cavity that's that is just right here right it is going to the orbital cavity actually a branch of internal carotid is going to the orbital cavity and let me just give you a quick flow chart internal carotid and below it comes the ophthalmic artery so it is actually dividing branching into ophthalmic artery and this ophthalmic artery will branched into central retinal artery there are very many other branching but i will only discuss this particular artery because this artery has a major clinical relevance right why i am saying that because see if let me just draw it then i will show it so this central retinal artery is going to supply blood to the retina and if there will be some thrombus stuck in this artery then the patient will suffer a sudden blindness okay so if if a person comes to you and uh, the patient actually comes to you and says that I am uh, I am having a blindness in one eye suddenly there is nothing happened with me then you actually have to check his internal carotid system right now going forward from this cavernous sinus this internal carotid artery is going is popping out like this right and two small branches one is 
posterior communicating artery it is actually going to connect with the posterior cerebral artery right don't confuse with both pca right both are pca posterior cerebral artery and posterior communicating artery let me just jot down that it is communicating so it is actually going this posterior communicating artery is going to join with the posterior cerebral artery now there is one more branching that is the anterior anterior choroidal artery which is going to supply the choroidal plexus right this anterior choroidal artery is going to supply the choroidal plexus okay now going forward we see now it this internal carotid artery will now bifurcate here comes the major part of this video it will branch like this right this and this and will no see in this artery it is named as anterior cerebral artery and it is going to supply the blood to the anterior part of the cerebrum right and one more artery which is going to bifurcate it is the middle cerebral artery middle cerebral artery now this artery is going to supply the lateral part of the cerebrum few more facts about this is that this whole story this whole story is going in uh, this whole story is actually happening in the subarachnoid space of the brain right this is all happening in the subarachnoid space it is a very major question so you must remember it everything is happening in the subarachnoid space now coming next sorry now coming next now i think that is all about the anterior circulation of the cns i don't think there is nothing left and in our next and last video of the blood supply to the cns we will discuss about the circle of villus and also about the clinical relevance of the circle of villus and that's all for now i am naman patel and hope you guys like my video and thanks for watching my video thank you guys